these were the taxons in the taxonomy these were the units of the classification when the plants and animals are being classified and of course the last two units were very important the genus and the species were very important because the genus and the species are the units of the classification on the basis of that the animals and the plants are named their names one the parents uh, allocate the names of the kids at one type of the one type of the one type of the names the biology biological name will be there of the bacteria of the even of the human being so human being i will tell you the scientific name the biological name of the human being is the homo sapien i will write the spelling after some time but i can tell you two names are involved in naming the human being one is the genus who one is the species of course you remember i am talking about binomial nomenclature you are right the binomial nomenclature what is the binomial nomenclature the binomial nomenclature is the nomenclature binomial nomenclature is the nomenclature in which genus name is is uh, taken species name is taken genus name will you will write first of all i will discuss today species name you will write later on the species name later species first letter in the small letter the genus first letter in the capital letter that will be the true method dialogy to write the biological name the scientific name of the human so you should not mind i will say to you oh, mr homo sapien mr homo sapien come here mr homo sapien come here i call you in the classroom so don't worry sir you are telling homo sapien homo sapien is scientific name is biological name genus name and species name two type of the classification i mentioned that uh, two type of class one systemic one was the uh, one was the taxonomy and systemic i told uh, integral uh, importance of the systemic when the plants and the animals are classified on the basis of the evolution evolution common ancestor mean that current animal the, the animals living in today's era is different the animals living in 300 years back why it is different because evolution take place why the evolution takes place because the habitat change what is the binomial nomenclature the genus and the species the last two tech zones are involved to name the animals and the plants how it is written the genus first letter in the capital letter species first letter in the small letter who introduced the binomial nomenclature carolus linnaeus what is the scientific name biological name of the human body homo sapien today you are going to learn what how uh, human beings are classified what is our common ancestor what is our largest group what is order of human what is the genus of the human what is the species of the human what is the family of the human this is so important even you are not studying biology in the future you must know your biological family history of human body your naming is so crucial because that is the naming we are the human that is the classification we are the human that is the classification which make us superior at which make us superior than the animals we are at the superiority complex 
Vision is the act. We say we are superior animals are inferior. If I will say human beings belong to class mammalia and these are animals, you will mind. You will say, no, sir, we are not animals. We are the humans. Reason? Because your classification. That classification did not uh, occupy by animals. So therefore, animals classification is different. Their class is different. Their class is different. Their artists are different. Their family is different. Their genus is different. So that's family genus belongs to you. That's why human beings are superior and different from other animals. So that was the main objective of the classification. You was actually making the difference between the between closed group of animals and the closed group of the plants. So this this classification is clearly telling the similarities and the differences between the animals and the plants. So we go back now and we see the the other other option which I want to discuss with you. Students now we see the yes these are the contacts you can contact me for the discussions and for questioning and this is the forum in which we can live answer and question if you have any question you can and if you, any question came into your mind you can contact me these are the details for you we we'll go back to now the actual naming of the human being of the classification classification of the human body we are going to study now how the human beings are classified and what is the basic taxa 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 is the plural taxa and the taxons of the animals and the plants so now you will see that you are watching that kingdom animalia you are watching kingdom animalia yes kingdom animalia mean human beings belong to kingdom animalia question sir you did not tell the kingdom you started from the phylum kingdoms are so large no need to discuss because you know all animals and the plants were divided earlier into two kingdoms one was the kingdoms animalia one was the kingdom plantar this were clear that some are animals some are the plants because when we define the biology we say study of living thing is called biology and study of plants and the animal collectively called as the biology reason plant living things are divided into the plants and the animals so two kingdoms the major kingdom the large kingdoms one is a animalia one is a plantae so human beings are animalia Good news, we are animals at least in uh, until that. Don't don't worry. I, I will switch a uh, human being into the human as well. But until now, until now, at least we are not the plants, we are developing. We evolution with the passage of the time we will switch from animals to human being. So we are animals according to this classification until now. We are not the plants. This is a good news. We we'll go back to the phylum. That is phylum is the chordata. Chordates, I will tell you. We, you will study classification in first year of biology in detail. You will study uh, invertebrates and the chordates, and you will see the more most developed animals were included in the chordates. You know how you will make the true definition of the chordates? The chordates with the vertebral column. You have the vertebral column, 33 vertebrae, these are cervical, the, the thoracic vertebrae, the backbone, backbone, this is the backbone, the backbone, vertebral column, 33 vertebrae are present, lumbar vertebrae, and then these are vertebrae which are present at the back side, these vertebral column is belong to cardates, so cardates, vertebral column present means they are more developed animals, so this is also good news, we are developed, I will not say animals, humans. Humans, you will mind, I know that. So, and technically in biology we say animal, but I will say human. We are developed living thing. Okay, we are developed living thing. So, cottages are the group of the animals in which vertebrates, in which uh, in which the vertebral column is present, 33 vertebrae is present. So, you may be thinking, sir, what is the other group which is a less developed group in animals? Yes, in vertebrates, like cockroach, like, uh, like the earthworm, like the starfish like the leech, like the liver fluke, these all animals are without, uh, these all animals are without cuttlefish, yes of course, cuttlefish come to cardates, jellyfish, 
jellyfish invertebrate yes without vertebral column so it means that on the basis of presence of vertebral column or absence of vertebral column you divided animals into two groups one group is the cardates other group is the invertebrates and we belong to cardates good news we go to third one and third one is the third one is the mammal mammals mammalia mammalia now i will tell you interesting information in the cardates in the cardates in the cardates in the cardates there are many groups in the cardates there are many groups so some groups are some groups are uh, apes some groups are mammalia i will speak the uh, classes which are groups of the groups of the cardates okay some groups are fishes we don't belong to fishes good news we don't belong to fishes because here what is written mammalia one one group one class in the cardate because we have to study the cardates because we because our family our, our phylum is cardates so we will see all classes which are present in the phylum and we will see in which class we are present clear in which class we are present one class was fishes fishes are pisces we are not fishes good news we are mammalia one another class is class and we are frog frog family we are not frog thank you allah we are not frog because we are mammalia not pitan class amphibia is not pitan class reptilia crocodiles and human beings are not the crocodile because they don't belong to class reptiles class apes the birds we are not the birds because we are not going to fly so which group we have class mammalia the most developed class of cardates once again most developed class of the cardates mammalia mammals are the animals which have large brain this will differentiate us from other animals large brain large cranium most developed brain fore brain mid brain hind brain the cerebral hemisphere is quite large and the in the females the glands are present for milking mammary gland hairs are present and placental we are the placental mammals so these things are cleared that we are developed living things we are developed humans we are developed among the animals the human beings are more developed so other order is the primates so are you watching the i am following the same taxon which i taught you in the last session what was that pco judge i was talking phylum class class phylum okay i have to run phylum phylum class phylum class order order you are watching the sequence okay ji phylum phylum class order family genus and the species clearly now we we'll go back to the order what is the order of the human being primates p r i m a t e s this order class mammalia consists of one order which animals are so developed nervous system wise and their mode of because there are some mammals who are very less developed like duck bill platypus spiny on it are some animals in the mammals who are not much developed so human beings are not in the less developed mammals we are in a placental mammal and placental mammals are primates similarly our family is much developed hominid hominid and the genus and the species i should drop hominid the reason i tell you this is not much important these two are very important species and the genus homo sapien that was the name i was naming at the start of the lecture why i used the name the homo sapien reason human beings are named on the basis of human beings are named on the basis of two things homo sapien homo sapiens genus name and species name there is a mistake in the book students this is a sapien sapien is the species clear homo is the genus the sapien homo is written wrong here so why he has written homo actually he he wrote the complete name of human body the complete name of the human body is genus name in capital letter capital h species first name in the small letter genus name 
in the capital letter genus name in the capital letter species name in the small letter sapien species name in the small letter genus name in the capital letter you are watching the sapien homo sapien homo is the genus name of the human body sapien is the species name first name for alphabet of the species is s first alphabet of the genus is capital h so this is the biological name of the human body so homo sapien he is written under heading of species which is wrong under heading of species he, should, he must write species he must write species homo in the genus genus species when you will both combine it become the biological name of the human body which is homo sapien homo is genus and sapien is the species thank you very much this is lecture number 12 i hope you are revising because uh, you know that management decided to conduct your paper as well so these questions will be the part of the question paper thank you very much